what up everybody welcome back to a new video today we are talking about the Vance and Hines slip-on quiet baffles that I put in on this thing so let's get started with today's video all right so first things first you know um, I recommend this exhaust to anybody because if you're looking for really good sound um, for you know 400 bucks it's the way to go but also <laughs> What I mean by really good sound is it is loud. So if you want that bike to just screams down the street, I recommend this exhaust. I chose this exhaust because, you know, the bobber's got that old school look. So I wanted to keep, you know, the, that old school look on the pipes too. Uh, but the originals are so long, so long. <laughs> so these, you know, they cut them back a little bit. And I like how they have that slash cut. I think that really looks cool on this bike. I mean, but as you can tell, you know, you can hear through the mic. This, I know the mic doesn't give it justice, but it's still pretty loud. Like the, the baffles do turn it down, but not a lot, a lot, just enough so I can record. Cause that was one of the bigger issues I was having is recording, you know, especially for you guys that are motor vlogging, um, you know, audio is everything. To have a cracking mic all the time just doesn't work, you know? So I want, I still wanted that nice, uh, deep throaty sound but I didn't want to you know I didn't want it to be that dramatically loud because I'm telling you on the freeway for about an hour you can't hear nothing after that with the, without those baffles in those quiet baffles it is pretty insane like uh, Grim would say on one side of me on the opposite side of my exhaust just because it's that loud I mean but you can hear this idle it's still pretty damn loud that's 11 100 RPMs right now, you know. What the heck y'all doing? I didn't want to lose that sound, so I was really worried about, you know, putting a new baffle in and then completely killing the sound that I like that this bike can make. Yeah, so that was my biggest worry was, you know, just losing that sound. So, you know, I, I started searching on YouTube, figured out what people were going to do, and then I came across the quiet baffles, and I was like, all right, cool, you know, they make them. From what, from what you can tell from a video, I was taking a little bit of a gamble, but uh, you know, I was like, well, if Vance and Hines make one, you know, why not go through them? So I go to their website, but I didn't know the right one to get. So that was kind of another dilemma that I was having. Luckily, I watched, I forget whose video it was. Like, I wouldn't mind shouting them out. I know it's no, I'm, I'm a small fish, but you know, it, it really helped me out here. So I was like really worried about, you know, how, I don't want to get the wrong ones, you know, they're not, super cheap so at the end of this guy's video he said you can go to your dealership that you got your bike from and they should be able to order you the right one so i was like all right cool so i go down there and i talk to the parts guy because i see that exhaust the slip-on is right there in their little parts display so i ask him if he can order the baffle for that so that's how i wound up getting them it cost me i want to say 120 dollars for both for both i believe you know give or take some change and uh you know from what i heard it putting baffles in is a pretty easy you know process for the most part you know i had just never put in quiet baffles before i put in regular ones those are you know super easy it's just you know taking off one one or two bolts most of the time sometimes three but it's always pretty much at the end of your exhaust you know you unscrew them you pull the old one out or if it doesn't have one you put it in you know but like I said, I had never done quiet baffles before. Right off the bat, me being me, <laughs> I make a giant mistake. It's fixable, it's just a pain in the ass. So right off the bat, um, it comes with a fiberglass kind of like a, a cloth wrapped around it. That's to help it, you know, with being quiet and whatnot. So you have the fiberglass cloth and then it has saran wrap, like a saran wrap all the way around that fiberglass cloth. So, you know, me thinking, I'm like, well, you know, you can't have plastic in your exhaust. <laughs> Wrong, the plastic is supposed to stay there. Yeah, so that plastic is supposed to stay wrapped around it because what it does is it holds the, uh, the fiberglass cloth, it holds it down so you can get it into the exhaust. <laughs> so luckily I didn't cut the plastic, I had just unraveled it. But you know how plastic gets. It like grabs a hold of itself and gets really thin. So I had to like pull it apart and wrap it around. It was, it was a little annoying. It wasn't like the end of the world. It was just one extra step I didn't have to do. 
<laughs> pretty much. Yeah, so it wasn't a big deal. You know, I had just unraveled it. I just had to ravel it back up, but very tight. So I get that all fixed in there. But like I'll show you here in a second, the part where the you get the bat the new baffle in, right? And the part with uh, where the nut and the bolt meet up, the bolt hole and the, the bolt that they give you, they don't fit into each other. It is too uh, the, the where they drilled it out, the gap is too small, so the bolt can't even catch the thread. So what I end up having to do is I had to take my Dremel and actually Dremel out the top and not touch the threads, Dremel out the top of the uh, that hole to make it just a little bit bigger. Like I didn't need much, so I'm glad I had a Dremel. If not, I would have been completely screwed because, you know, it's not like I could put a smaller bolt in there. It won't match up with the nut that's in there. All right, so here's what I was talking about. Those are where the baffles go. I don't know if you can see right there is the nut they welded onto um, the quiet baffles. But the problem I had was right here, these are the old baffles that came on the original slip-ons. Is right here on the quiet baffles, they didn't drill the hole big enough for the screw to make connection with the nut in the back. So I had to take a Dremel and Dremel out the rim right here. So this was supposed to be the hardest part. You push the new baffle in and people were asking me, well, how did you get it? This is the hardest part. They asked me, how did you get it all the way back there? So I just took my um, breaker bar and I put it all the way to the back and it stops because there's a flat piece back there. So I did that. And then I just hit it with a mallet until I reach to the point where, because there's a, the screw goes in like right here, you just loosen these, pull it forward a little bit, and it gives you access to the screw. So you just got to line it up. But as you can see down here, I didn't line it up right. So then I had to move it, and by doing that, I broke it right there. But it's not the end of the world. I guarantee that doesn't happen a lot, because I didn't see anybody else having that issue so that must have been like you know one of those fluke things that just happens and i just got you know i got the bad roll of the dice when it came to that you know those baffles i mean because the company makes them they it's for the same pipe you know so they just screwed up just a little bit but what can you do i made it work well i was planning on making it work i i don't know about you guys but i'm cheap so uh, i will make something work especially if i already spent the money Plus, if you're like me and you accidentally unwrap that shit, wear gloves. Because that fiberglass, if you're allergic to it, is itchy. <laughs> you will itch for a couple hours after the fact. So, note to self. <laughs> when dealing with that fiberglass kind of like felt material, wear gloves. But it's over, they're in, I love the sound. I know you guys can hear it. You still have that nice, nice sound to it. It's still got people's attention. It just toned down just a tiny bit. Damn, lady. What are you, dumb? There's a car right behind you. All right, everybody, I think I'm gonna end today's video here. That was, uh, that was the whole story. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you guys for stopping by. As always, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.